As the Belhambul tree is known in Dinogan, has been in this village for more than a hundred years. The Belambra tree its name means beautiful shade and indeed it does make a beautifully shady tree and what it's got that's very interesting is the bottom of the trunk spreads across the ground to make a, a, an area that you can even sit on. So it's an attractive tree. Originally from South America, the seeds were probably brought into the country by missionaries and spread by birds and wind. An alien plant or species is a, a species that has come from somewhere else. Generally, we consider them to be species that have come from other places in the world. Um, the moment they are able to naturalize themselves, which means that they are able to reseed themselves without the assistance of man um, and form a natural population themselves, there's the potential that they can become invasive. And as a result, they can negatively impact our own natural biodiversity. The government decides to have these trees destroyed. Will the Bafuruti of the Nukana agree to it? If we look back to when that species actually arrived in South Africa, it's not something that has been part of their um, cultural history for that long. So, Nagoze Tedinzi, Hosarola di Meeting, Zamura Africa Motas Hastaris. And some of the events they did a hala moment in Waruna Dinoga, the Toro Lagamo, Tasehas, and his Tarisus, Sanyeni. This tree being held in high regard by people, it's, it's not really surprising because it's very unusual. It is a very lush looking tree, even in quite dry areas, because of the way it stores water. So the leaves are always looking green and nice. So I'm not surprised that um, there might be tribes and people that hold this tree in high esteem. Before <laughs> CARA stands for the Conservation of Agricultural Resources Act. Um, it's, quite a, it's quite specific in that it's mainly targeted at uh, maintaining and caring for agricultural land. But at the moment it is the only legislation in South Africa that 
indicates what species are invasive or not. Both under CARA and NEMBA um, legislation, the categories are category one, which is incredibly invasive and has to be controlled. Category two, which indicates a plant that can generally only be grown with a license. And then category three is a plant that has displayed potential for invasiveness um, and recognized for that. So you can grow it, but you may not allow it to propagate new plants. Invasive alien plant species threaten our biodiversity and water resources. They use up a lot of water, contaminate the soil so that indigenous plants cannot grow near them and they poison animals. The main problem is that it has all these berry fruit and the birds love the berries, um, particularly birds, fruit-eating birds like thrushes and probably grey luris might also like it. And so the tree is spread very easily by birds. It's now become a category three weed and you may not plant new plants. A rose is an invasive plant and the same thing for stuff like maize and wheat. They're not naturally indigenous to South Africa. They've come from somewhere else. So they're alien plants, but they are not invasive. The interesting feature of this plant, the leaves are a source of saponins, so basically you can make a soap with them. And all you need to do is crush them up and you'll get a kind of a soapiness that will then clean your hands and then you'd be able to rinse them off with water. They use the saponins, they put it in the water and it kills the mosquito larvae. So um, it's one of those weeds that does have uses. The Balambra is from the slightly drier parts of central South America and that explains why it has that succulent habit it's so that it can survive periods of no rain. That is also why it manages well in South Africa where we do have seasonal rain. There must be lots of ways that they get into the country. Some come in by accident. They might come in with um, some other product like seed or food or something. And others are brought in because they're really pretty or people like them and so people bring them in deliberately. Then others might come in completely accidentally on people's clothes. Something like a blackjack for instance would stick to someone's clothes and not be noticed and perhaps later on get into the soil and grow. Because they suck up so much water from the rivers and from groundwater, it's negatively impacting our own very scarce water resources. The Balambra has been a Category 3 tree for a number of years already. And I must say, looking around, I don't see much evidence of it really spreading. Um, it seems that this category is appropriate because there seem to be fewer of them coming up as old ones die and people remove them in their gardens. So I wouldn't anticipate it being reclassified to a, a higher level of threat. So it's probably going to stay a Category 3 in my opinion. As a, as a responsible citizen, it's important for us to know how invasive it is. Whether legislation has been passed or not, it is recognised as being a dangerous plant. And as such, we should control it as far as we can. Government has no salary, is in Sababuaba, the Sinamids, Sinamids, and Mira Sanu Salat, Sanu Saburoka, Saburoka Mosari Nokani, Kusone would see Rajaba Fruits of Hamuila, Murinokani. Habakan Sasari, but I went to the Fruits and fell off on a car. Lulale, you are for that.